Good day and welcome to this WhatsApp channel once again. And uh, today we'll be um, advancing uh, on our tutorial on how to install Untap Simulator on VMware. We have uh, been able to configure Node 1 in the previous tutorial. And now we are going to be configuring the node 2 of our cluster. So that's what we're going to be doing today. This is the continued session of the previous session. Okay, so we will look at the, the session, the one we created earlier. This is the node we created earlier. Okay, so Okay, I ran some command port show to show me the port. If you see, if you can see it here, we have EOA port, EOA, EOB, EOC, EOD. Uh, so we have two cluster ports for interconnect. Uh, we have um, EOA and EOB for that. And uh, we can check your version by simply type, typing version, the CLI. So let's have my dot one one dot one okay so we're good uh okay let's see set up yes so for if it's a live environment you'll be having e0m but this is a simulator it uses e0c e0 M. Oh, sorry, E zero C IP address. We now give it an IP address we want it to use. Hope you understand. We can give it an IP address we want it to use. Uh, this should be defined by you. You define the IP range on your own to decide. Um, how you want to manage it. So I would go with 192.168.154.100. No, 101 because my cluster management will be 100. Let's mask 255. I'm using 255.255.255.0. .255 gateway 192.168.154.1 okay so i'm done with that so as it is i have been able to configure that though it's giving me this to access the the web browser So uh, I'll, to come to if I use this now the one zero one I'll be able to um, access the one on on my PC but I don't need that yet. Do you want to create? So I will say create. Do you intend to use it as a single node? I'll say no. So I would need this. Port EOA and EOB, the down the it's I'll need this IP afterwards. So I'll take this IP down 169.254. So I'll just drag my notepad. So I'll take it down 169.254.92.184. So I'll take it down because that IP will be used to join the cluster. So I'll say yes. Enter the administration name. So I'll put admin. Oh, I'm supposed to put something. So you can put the password you want. So I'll put mine. Okay, name. I want to give it a name, so I'll give my cluster a name. I'll give it um, um on top underscore tutorial. 
so enter so it's creating that cluster for me so once it creates it and it's up i'll go power my i'll go set up my node 2 once this is done i'll now set up my node 2 to join node 1 on this cluster okay while we're waiting for it to do that i can easily create um the second node so i'll basically go to i'll basically go to my vmware i'll go to open a new virtual machine so i'll pick my ova file so it asks me name so the to be on top thing note two so input it's doing that so i'm running two process simultaneously So when this is done, once we're able to configure this node 2, we'll be able to run them side by side as a cluster. Okay. Let me see. Okay, it's starting up. So it's going to take some time, but well, we might need to update in Leaf Manager. Okay, so it's creating. So, okay. What I'll just do is let's start our node 2. Okay. Let's start configuring it while the other is going. So here I'll press um, uh, space. Why I'm pressing space is because I want to change the serial number and in the print environment so i'm going to be doing some major configurations um looking at the um this um this guide given by Neta in the installation of the simulator so when we we need to get to the vloader to um, change the serial number system id for the second node so that the two nodes will not be running using the same um ID serial number and system ID. So this command is what we will run on the second node. We will run this command on the node two. So I want to run this command on my node two. So it's going to be set environment sys okay. Okay, done. So we set environment again. Boot. Then we run the sys ID. Okay. So we can now do just print f to confirm what we have done sys underscore serial underscore num oh oh there was a space in my former command okay print f sys serial I'm missing something. Okay.
Okay. I think I was running it. I was entering the wrong command. Okay. Okay, that that been done. Okay, so let's proceed. So we now go to out. We now boot. Now have to boot the. So we just proceed with the boot. So we need to boot it. It's booting so we can check our node okay so this is done asking for license we can skip, skip this we'll do that later enter management cluster management ports uh okay it's asking for a cluster management port so we i'll tell you to use e0c okay so we IP address. Don't forget the IP we used earlier. We have 192.168.1.154. So I'm, I told you it's going to be 100. Perfect. So 255, they have to be on the same net mask. But 255.0. Okay. Gateway is taking it. Yes. It's taking, yeah. DNS okay as it is um it's asking for a DNS a domain name server name server so we probably I have one on my um my Windows server already um which is active But I would show you how to do that in our next story. I'll just proceed with that. We'll do that later. We'll configure that later. So let's go to where is it located. Okay. So we see E4. E4. Academy. So fine. This cluster is up and running. Up and running. It's up and running already. So fine. Okay, we can see cluster show. Fine, it's true. It's good. You see, it's only one that is here ready. So we see, let's see our second node is complete. System initialization has completed. So we are waiting for it to come up. So I'll pause to for it to come up properly so that we can continue. Okay, so as you can see, uh, our node 2 is fully set up. Yeah, it's set up. So we can log in as default admin is admin. So it's here. So what uh, we are just going to do in the next tutorial is to, I'm going to show you how to join this one, this node to the node 1 cluster. The cluster was created in node 1. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So thank you for watching. Hope you're practicing. You need to practice so you can be able to learn about this. If you have any question, please drop it in the comment section. I'll answer them. And don't forget, if you need support services for your NetApp infrastructure, all you need to do is um, go to our website, e Nigeria dot com and we'll get in touch with you if of nigeria dot com contact us then give us just tell us what you want us to tell us send send us message you can reach us via phone number or email and we support you anywhere in the world anywhere africa europe anywhere thank you make sure you practice and i'll see you in the next video.